here's something I know nothing about. Cockles. Never even heard of them before. I happened to find this searching on the internet. Couldn't resist buying it. It was a lot of money to get these things, so I'm assuming they're a real delicacy. Matey's Wild Cockles in Salt Brine. Wild Cockles. I don't imagine anybody would even think of raising this in their aquarium. Hand collected on the southern coast of the European Atlantic coast. Let me read that again. Hand collected on the southern European Atlantic coast. All kinds of good stuff on this box. And I'll show you at the end of the video or whichever way the end is. Uh, some better pictures of this so you can read it more clearly yourself. Ingredients. Cockles. And as you can see, they're a type of shellfish. Water and sea salt. And then it says in Spanish, we won't try to read that. It's a nice little map of Spain. It shows you the exact little county or whatever they call them over there, province state where they come from these delicious burriachos also known as cockles why don't we call them burriachos also known as cockles on the label instead of cockles also known as burriachos oh or baby clams from the atlantic coast of spain portugal and france areas renowned for rich marine life they are packed fresh in the ocean in galicia spain in addition in traditional Spanish style, with nothing more than a touch of salt, yielded plump, tender, and flavorful burriachos. Serving idea. Enjoy fresh from the can with a squeeze of lemon. That's what I'm going to do, except forget the lemon. I don't need that. I'm into the really harsh, uh, wild tasting stuff. 100% natural, artisan product, no added colors or preservatives, refrigerated after opening. If you can imagine opening this and sticking it in your fridge. Frigerator. Okay. Oh, here we go with another warning from the Californians. This product can expose you to BPA, which is known to the state of California to cause birth defects or other reproductive harm. For more information, go to blah, 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 p65warnings.ca.gov. All right. Probably a low-impact warning if only going to eat a few of these out of the can, etc. Product of Spain. Now... I'm not sure where the BPA comes from because that's, I think, a byproduct of a plastic manufacturer. So perhaps these are collected in waters where all that pollution has settled. And it comes in a box, but not the reclosable flip top. I'm getting to be beyond that by now. And a lot of loose space in the can, so I wouldn't say this is a really a high quality package. Hmm. Another one like I saw recently. Okay, now this has got salt water in it. I cannot hear any bubbles, so there's nothing loose. I'm gonna jump right in. Nothing bubbling out. Glad about that. But you know what? Just as a precaution, we're going to dump the water out. Ooh, we dropped a few cockles onto the plate. You can definitely see that's not oil, that's kind of juicy water coming out of there. Ha! Ah. I think the seagulls are soon to circle. here already. It is odoriferous.
Not the recommended way to open a can. You could poke somebody's eye out like that. Most of yourselves. <laughs> I think I know why they recommend the lemon juice. That is some really strong seafood smell. Pretty cool. They're kind of packed in there at random, but then again, it still makes a little bit of a pattern. A random pattern. Ah, that's pretty, pretty colorful. Little orange things on there. Let me sit this down. There. Well, it says just read them right out of the can. They definitely are just like... Uh, Non-smoked oysters. Pretty darn good if you like strong fish taste. Definitely. Mm. These are far better than smoked oysters or smoked clams if you don't like the pastiness. There's a, a leathery chewiness. There's a, what is it? Um, what is the texture of this? Don't drop one of these, please. There's no crunchy pearls. There's no uh, large amount of, of guts or entrails here. It's mostly a muscle. And that thing right there, I think, is the, the foot that pushes it around. Ooh, I'm getting close to having some really bad smell on me. Texture is really good. I would say these are definitely a hors d'oeuvre, kind of approaching caviar, not salty at all, but the, the squeamish level is kind of up there. Highly flavorful, without needing, oh, that one's salty. That one had a lot of water gushed out of it, so that salty brine is in it. Otherwise, they're not salty. They're very meaty. They have the texture of lunch meat. Black forest ham lunch meat. The kind that's mostly chunks of meat instead of just the ground up um, cheap type of lunch meat. This is the deli style stuff. The experience grows on you. You gotta get past the initial waft of odor. Because now I'm kind of numb to it. Get away. Hmm. Let's drop some on a cracker. How's that for a sightly arrangement? Four little cockles on a cracker. Four little cockles on a cracker. Cockles and crackers. Ah, it's good. Good. 
Maybe let's up the volume. Twice as many. Wow, we're good. For the cracker, really ups the ups the game. That is really good. <laughs> I'm gonna have another one. I'm gonna say if I don't want to limit my uh, BPA input here intake. All right, this this will finish off my risk, my toxicity risk. I really don't know how much bad stuff is in these, if there is, but California tends to, um, you know, outlaw uh, a lot of things, and I, I do appreciate their environmental standards and uh, looking out for the population. But I, I think I think I'm good. Will say, you gotta be okay with wild smell and wild taste. I don't even set in there, wild. So they're gonna taste wild, of course. Let's see if you can hold that up there. Ladies' wild cockles. I have no idea where you're gonna get these unless you just go on the internet because I don't think I've ever seen them for sale in the store. It is quite a delicacy. Not up there with caviar or flame and neon or that kind of stuff, although it probably is the same price if you figure how much weight is in here. But if you want a treat, if you want to try something really different, really cool looking stuff, and it really impress your friends at the uh, dinner party, uh, maybe they'll give them to the people you don't want to come back, I don't know. <laughs> wow. Uh, the aroma is still lingering. The wind moved it in my direction. Mady's cockles. They're just a different variety of clamor. Not oyster, but uh, kind of a shellfish, definitely. Mady's cockles. Definitely an adventure. And I suggest you try it. Until next time, thanks for watching.